Hey Canucks fans, hope you're well and happy Friday. We have yet another Thatcher Demko update. This one courtesy of Elliot Friedman. Elliot Friedman dropped his brand new 32 Thoughts podcast, his first venture with his brand new co-host Kyle Bukowskis, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they do together. And they touched on every single team in the NHL. It's a really fascinating look. It's a two-hour podcast, but I, I guess they're, like all of us content creators, are trying to get back in the swing of things, and they did it in a big way. So, of course, the Vancouver Canucks portion of the show was focused on goaltender Thatcher Demko. And I know, I know that I'm talking about him every two or three days. I'm talking about him every live stream. But I, I think as, as good as Hughes and Miller and Pedersen and Besser and Hronik and what we hope Jake the rest to be, this team is going to go really as far as Thatcher Demko can take them. And that's why there's so much talk. There's so much concern. There's so much intrigue and mystery around Thatcher Demko's injury situation. Now, we don't have to go through everything right now. But let's, let, like all the history, because you guys know it by now, let's talk about what Elliot Freeman said this morning. So this is what he said about Thatcher Demko's injury, the one that no one knows anything about, rumored to be the back of the knee, something that um, is kind of uncommon, something that he might be able to play through. This is what Elliot Friedman said, and I quote, he's going to have to learn to play with this. It's not something that can be fixed with surgery, but it's something he's going to have to learn to play through, and he can play through to a high level. So there's a few things here. Number one, he's going to have to learn to play with this. So this is a long-term thing. This isn't a short-term fix. It's not something that can be fixed with surgery. That's huge. That means, on one hand, that's good in that usually when you recover from surgery, it means you're, you're forced to shut down and it takes a longer time to come back. But the bad thing is you have a better chance with surgery of fixing whatever injury you have as opposed to maybe starting your rehab sooner or getting back to play sooner, but maybe you're never going to be 100%. And I know that uh, full well from my Achilles tendon that, that I ruptured last year. I'm still getting it. At least I'm doing more exercise. But I know people that had surgery on it instead of me, non-surgery, and they got back to doing what they're doing faster. Who knows who's going to um, have the stronger Achilles um, in the end. But I, di I digress there. We're talking about Thatcher Demko here, not my Achilles tendon. And yeah, interesting that it said uh, it's not going to be fixed with surgery and he's going to learn how to play through it, but he can play through it at a high level. So um, that's fascinating. And then, and then he, Elliot Freeman goes on to say that when, he, when they say that he's going to have to learn to play through it, it's no surprise, no secret. I think people are really putting, connecting the dots, putting two and two together, whatever analogy you want to use. Uh, the way that Ian Clark is no longer going to be working with the Canucks school tenders on the ice. Now, granted, a lot of that might have been Ian Clark's choice, his own body breaking down a little bit, but um, it's going to change as, as we all know and as Elliot Freeman kind of repeated this is going to change the way that Dem this injury is going to change the way that Demko is going to practice we all know that Ian Clark is a drill guy um, kind of a taskmaster wants his goalies to be the hardest working guys on the ice but uh, I think it's, it's very clear Rutherford hinted at it early in the summer and we're seeing it uh, even more now I think uh, putting like I said all the pieces together that Demko is going to have to change the way that he practices and that means how much does he practice and what is his workload when he is indeed practicing. And that's why we're hearing all these rumors about the Canucks offering Kevin Lankin a deal, kicking the tires and anti-Ranta and other, uh, maybe other veteran goaltenders. So um, it, I think this picture, although it's still a little bit, you know, murky, a little bit cloudy, is starting to come a bit, become a bit clearer as we go. He also says this, he, uh, Ellie Freeman said that basically the Canucks said to Demko, at the end of last season, we want to see you play two regular season games before the playoffs to convince us that you are going to be good to go. Well, guess what? Thatcher Demko played those two regular season games at the end of last season, and then he played. He made it through the first game of the playoffs against Nashville, and then he was shut down for the rest of the playoffs. And then, you know, there was all this conjecture of if the Canucks had got past Edmonton and got to round three, would he have played? And then others are saying, there's no way he, he would have played. Look, he's not even skate, or he, it took him like four months to, again to skate. Others are saying, because of the nature of the injury, he could have played. He'd have a little bit of pain, but he could play through it. And I guess that adds to kind of the aura of mystery around this injury. So, Demko plays the two games in the regular season, plays the first playoff game a win, and then is shut down for the rest of the playoffs. So, a couple of other quotes that Elliot Friedman said I want to talk about. I'm just not ever convinced he was 100% healthy is what Friedman said. 
And, uh, you know, Friedman doesn't do stuff for links or for clickbait. So if, if he's saying that he and his sources don't think Demko is 100% healthy when he came back, I believe him. And it, I, I, I don't have any reason not to believe him. And I kind of the proof is in the pudding because he only played those three games, two regular season games and one playoff game before being shut down. And then the last thing Friedman said, or another thing he said, I don't know that he's going to be ready for the start of the season, so that's not a surprise. But what I don't get the sense is that the Canucks are worried he's going to be out for half the year. Now, you can be technical and say, well, maybe not half the year, but what about 30, 35 games, which is basically half the year. I think it kind of goes along with what we've all been hearing. Rick Dolly reported earlier in the week that Dan Cole's been skating. He might miss a few weeks, maybe four to six weeks at the most, but it's not like he's missing... 18 to 20 weeks or whatever it may be. So, yeah, there's... So what Elliot Friedman said, I always talk about how Rick Dollywall and Patrick Johnson, among others, are the two guys that I really trust locally. And I do trust Elliot Friedman from a national perspective more than some other guys. I won't name names here, but more than some other guys who I think are more sensationalistic and clickbaitish or whatever word you want to use. So when when Elliot Friedman says that he doesn't think he was 100% healthy, it's going to change the way Demko practices, he's going to learn how to play through this, it's not going to be something that fixed through surgery. These are all quite... Um, uh, interesting comments and comments that hold a lot of weight, but I don't think Elliot Friedman says things flippantly and says things that he doesn't believe to be true. So I, I guess the, the bottom line, what we can take from this is Demko's, um, I guess, situation is still shrouded in mystery, but it sounds like he is not going to have surgery. He has to play through the pain, got to change the way he plays and practices. And that kind of goes hand in hand with Thatcher Demko, uh, with, excuse me, Ian Clark, moving on to a different role within goaltending in the Canucks organization. So Canucks fans, let me know what you think. Uh, do you trust what Elliot Freeman said? Does it concern you or give you comfort that Demko will not have surgery, but he may have to change the way he plays, practices? And are you worried that that's going to adversely affect how well he does this year? And then, of course, by relation, affect how well the Canucks do overall as a team. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read, react, and reply. As always, don't forget, no shows on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, so I'll be back. Full-time, full-time meaning five nights a week, starting Sunday, September the 8th. And we'll be going at my regular time of 11 p.m. We're going to do a huge merch update um, on that Sunday as well as give away some membership. So hopefully you can join me Sunday night at 8, sorry, Sunday night, September the 8th at 11 p.m. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, make sure you, you can leave a donation, you can become a member, you can upgrade your membership or you can, uh, and most importantly, certainly leave a comment down below your thoughts on this situation with Thatcher Demko. This news from Elliot Freeman. Shout out to my sponsors, Vancy Experts Real Estate and Coach Patrick Liu, Weight Loss Coach. And thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame franchise members for your support. And once again, thanks to all of you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great weekend. I will see you on Sunday night. God bless and go Canucks go.